Hello, my name is Daniel casado Red, and welcome to the presentation of our paper Radar on the Odometry and Mapping for Autonomous Vehicles. First of all, why is odometry and mapping necessary for autonomous driving? In order for an autonomous vehicle to make decisions, it must know its location within the environment. This is usually done using accurate GPS measurements in combination with other sensors. However, GPS signal is not always available, especially in parking lots, tunnels, and other indoor environments. Thus, we only rely on onboard sensing for ego motion estimation. The most popular sensors for this purpose are commonly cameras and lidars. However, they come with some disadvantages. Cameras are affordable, compact, and provide visual information similar to what we see with our eyes. As a result, they are affected by low light and bad weather conditions. Lidars, on the contrary, are less affected by low light, but are more expensive, hard to fit in a vehicle, and their performance also degrades under bad weather scenarios, such as heavy rain and snowfall. As shown in the picture, artifacts appear in the ladder point cloud under heavy snow. Radars, however, are not affected by environmental conditions and already exist in vehicles around the world. They are also affordable and compact to mount into a car. It is important to differentiate between two kinds of radars and understand how the radar sees. Most of the research to date has occurred in the spinning radar domain. These sensors, despite their good performance in harsh weather conditions, are too big to fit within a consumer vehicle and are usually mounted on top of the car. Their output is a 2D image that is either thresholded to obtain a 2D point cloud or directly processed using image-based techniques. In our work, we focus on automotive radars. These can be fitted within an autonomous car. They directly output the measured point cloud with the corresponding radial Doppler velocity of each point, as shown in the video. Our work utilizes 2D as well as 3D radars for echo motion estimation and mapping. However, this kind of sensors comes with challenges. The high amount of noise of radar point clouds requires robust and large rejection techniques, and the sparsity can be compensated thanks to the provided Doppler velocities by the radar sensor. The main contribution of this paper is a comprehensive exploration of odometry techniques plus mapping, utilizing 3D and 2D radar sensors for autonomous vehicles. Our focus encompasses two ego motion estimation approaches and a novel mapping step, collectively enhancing the capabilities of radar-driven navigation. The first method presents a novel point-to-point -point iterative closest point technique specifically designed to harness the velocity information provided by radar sensors. The second method is tailored for low-speed scenarios, where the radar is being covered by large moving obstacles such as trucks and buses. We also give way to the mapping stage and introduce a simple yet effective filtering step to improve the precision of the resulting map. We demonstrate how Doppler velocity information provided by the radar can be used to augment the point-to-point -point ICP algorithm, leading to high registration accuracy. The iterative closest point algorithm estimates the transformation between a source scan and a target scan. In point-to-point -point ICP, this transformation is obtained by finding the nearest neighbors for each point and iteratively reducing the distance between them. This is represented by the equation on the left where we want to compute the transformation between a point QK and its transformed correspondence in the target point cloud, PK. Additionally, we geometrically estimate the echo velocity of the car based on the radial velocity of the measured target provided by the radar. We compare this measurement with the estimated velocity from the current ICP transformation and include the weighted residual to our radar ICP formulation. Note that for both functions, we use a robust kernel row for outlier rejection highly important for the radar's noisy scans. We show the comparison of state-of-the-art methods with our radar ICP solution measured using the relative post error, RPE, the root mean square error over all scans, RMSC, and the KITI RPE matrix for translation and rotation. Our method achieves state-of-the-art results comparable to lighter accuracy, processed using KISS ICP. The good results for both methods show the importance of point-to-point -point matching and how the velocities can improve the accuracy on 3D automotive radar odometry. Here, you observe some comparisons between our method and the baselines in various sequences of the view of the dataset. We observe how the drift achieved by our approach is minimal and closely matches the results obtained using LiDAR. In this video, we can observe an example of our approach in a real-world scenario from the view of the dataset where the map is being incrementally constructed while the poses are estimated. The dotted line represents the ground truth, while the continuous blue line represents our estimation. Additionally, we proposed a velocity-based filter for large moving objects for radar ergomotion estimation. 
Our approach is based on pre-filtering the measured radar points using the constant velocity motion model. We then estimate the vehicle's velocity profile only using the static points from the environment. Our method shows an improvement in new scene sequences where the radar is being blocked by large moving objects, such as buses and trucks. Finally, we propose a simple yet effective strategy for filtering random noise outliers from radar point clouds. We filter our dynamic point outliers using RANSAC on the velocity profile. For static points, our method is based on checking consistency between scans. First, we aggregate the previous three scans into a single point cloud in the local frame. Then, compare each point in the current scan to its closest neighbor correspondence in the aggregated scans. We discard it if the distance between correspondences is higher than a threshold. We evaluate our approach comparing the radar map to the corresponding LiDAR map using the symmetric and asymmetric chamfer distance metrics. Our filtered map shows lower distance, hence a higher similarity with the LiDAR map than the one obtained using random point filtering. We can observe how most of the clutter is being filtered out as well as the dynamic objects filtered using RANSAC. Two sequences are shown for the view of depth and nuisance datasets, respectively. The outlier points in the map are colored in red and the inliers in green. We observe how the green filtered point cloud has a higher resemblance to the lighter map than the filtered one, including all of the outliers. All in all, we have seen how odometry is necessary for autonomous vehicles and how radars provide advantages in challenging scenarios. In our work, we presented a comprehensive exploration of odometry methods plus mapping for automotive 2D and 3D radars. We achieved state-of-the-art results on our benchmarks supporting all of our claims.